Hey, what's up guys? I'm at the overcrowded mall again. Uh, my sleep schedule has been really weird because I've been like taking like three hour naps during the day, but then only falling asleep later for three hours. So yeah, everybody's sleep is messed up. Bookshelf scenario. That's what I wanted to talk about today. <clears throat> I came up with this thing that I never told you guys called the bookshelf scenario. And uh, I wanted to share it with you because I thought it's really interesting and maybe a lot of other people can relate. Um, so yeah. Anyway, you know when people say that they're different, like, you know, like maybe they wear clothes that nobody else wears or stuff like that and like listen to music nobody else listens to and that's what they would consider different. And then when someone else would tell them that they're different or when someone would say that they're different, um, you would automatically or you would hear someone automatically say, oh, so is everyone else or me too or same and stuff like that, right? So I created this thing called the bookshelf scenario to point out the differences between the threshold of actually uh, being different, right? So uh, basically this guy, he goes to grab a book from a bookshelf and the spine of this like three pound book lands right on his toe, right? And in the next room, a guy just got shot in the foot. So they both uh, come out of their rooms, they meet in the hallway, and uh, the guy who uh, just got shot in the foot says, ow, my foot. And the guy who got the book dropped on his toe said, same, me too. And uh, there's obviously a big difference between the severity of both of those cases, right? So, um, I just created that story because uh, a lot of people that want to attribute relatability to similar things that they think they have in common with someone else, but really it's extremely far off the spectrum, um, they can now talk about the bookshelf scenario. Oh, hold on, I'm not walking into spider webs just to dodge these people. Anyway, I'm in public, guys, so I don't want to be doing too crazy of stuff. I just wanted to share that story with you, and uh, I'm going to go. So I'll see you guys. Eat.